getting the day started, we are gonna head into town and meet up at a coffee shop with some people that I know over here. This is an insane view. Wanna take a selfie? Wanna take a selfie? Boop. Oh, Danny texted me too. Oh, there's that GoPro setup. <laughs> I used to call home from here like every week. Mom, I'm having the best time of my life. <laughs> I love that thing. I remember hearing like, I don't know if this is a myth, but that like pilots in the Air Force that fly above 10,000 feet have to like have a gas, like an oxygen mask on. And like really? this, and this place, isn't it like 10,000, like 500 feet? I don't think that's... I think it's true. <laughs> So this is all of Leadville, by the way. It's just this main drag, Harrison Street, Harrison Ave. That's pretty much it. What time is it? Nine? Probably close. See ya. Really clean. Cool. <laughs> Down dog. Nice. Can you tell them about your stretching this morning? This is what the kid life is gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> Ew. Hi! Oh, nice. Leadvilleites for Bernie. Should we walk up? Yeah. I used to come into the Rock Hut every single time on the weekends at HMI. Alright. I'm on a hunt for TV Rock. It's a rock I wanna buy. I even like remember where it is. Hey there. Do you guys have a rock? I think it's called like TV rock. No. Oh. Like that weird projection thing. We used to. Oh, we you don't anymore? No, we ran out, but we have some of this. So I guess they're out of TV rock, guys. Out of luck. No, I can order it online <laughs> if I really wanted it. I feel like someone's Let's just do some ice climbing real quick. <laughs> In the. Oh. Whoa. So a lot of you ask me all the time where I get these hoodies that I always wear. It's called Melanzana. You can buy them online, but this is the their one shop in the entire world where they hand stitch these sweatshirts. So let me show it to you guys. Nice. Oh, look at this dog. <gasps> oh. Oh, hello, beautiful. Oh. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> I have some of these too. Oh. Melons on and halves are the best. Maybe they're just too big. But if you do this, can I like get it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's so bright. Can you see? I can't even see if you can see the sign. Yeah. Okay. Will you say when you're gonna do it? Well, no. I'll, I would just take video like this. Oh, and it's videoing right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Decided to get a serious workout in and do the six mile loop. Six miles over 10,000 feet of elevation. See you, homie G. Yes. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming, guys. It was awesome yeah. to see you. Very definitely a lot of jealousy and envy of you hanging out here, but yeah. it's nice that. More. Yeah, it's nice that we get to come and see you. Mm -hmm. okay. So we're on our way back to Colorado Springs and we're stopping by this awesome little organic grocery store in Buena Vista. Parsley hummus sandwich. Oh my god. Because like, it broke? What to do. Just eat it like a salad. A vegan lentil soup and I got a vegan sandwich. There's non-dairy cheese in here. 
a lady hit my camera off of like a shelf I had it sitting on in the grocery store, but I think it works just fine. That's my first like full on combat, like boom, hitting the floor uh, of my camera, but I think she's okay. I'm safe with me. Last night after our crazy bar shenanigans and then just like going back and all talking with each other and just like, you know, being little kids on a sleepover, we um, stayed up so late. I got about four hours of sleep last night and we took a long walk today, did a lot of traveling. I am dead. It is 7.04. I plan on being in my bed in 45 minutes, maybe an hour um, and getting a good rest because Tomorrow's gonna be pretty chill for me. I have a lot of work. I don't have that much travel and stuff, but Monday and Tuesday are both crazy. So I'm gonna wake up as early as I possibly can tomorrow after getting a good rest and just try to get all my stuff done. Coming back from even visiting HMI is sort of that feeling that I used to get coming back from summer camp. I mean, HMI is like my Disneyland. It's like the happiest, best feeling place in the world. I can't think of another place that just brings me more joy and grounded energy. It's so freaking awesome. Um, and for the longest time, I thought I was going to be an apprentice there, which is what Sam is right now and what Barrett is applying to be. For years after HMI, I thought I was going to apply and go and it would be great. And only in the last like year or two have I realized that actually my path is really different and going to HMI sort of wouldn't be in alignment with all of the different goals that I have now. And it's just so interesting how we always change and that being an apprentice at HMI was something that I thought 100% I was gonna do. And you just never really know. I mean, I would have the best time if I went, but it's just not my path. Much love, Dream Extreme, everybody. If you know a sophomore in high school that you think would benefit from a program like this and just leaving their school that they're used to and going out and having a unique experience, Please tell them to check out HMI. I'm safe.